Hello to all you beautiful people out there watching this. Mark Intocable here. Mark Haynes doing stuff. And today, got an interesting topic for all of you. So, the other day as I was leaving the gym, I hear this woman say, Oh, those bodybuilders, they're all a bunch of narcissists. So, even though I'm not a competitive bodybuilder anymore, I still consider myself a bodybuilder because I train hard and I eat right and I live the bodybuilding lifestyle. So we're going to do a deep dive today to see if I am a narcissist. So first, let's define what is a narcissist. Well, an easy definition that I've found here is they tend to deny flaws in themselves and put the blame on others for their personal shortcomings misfortunes. I mean, I don't know. That sounds like it could be a little bit of anybody. I mean, is everybody in the world a narcissist? Because, like, who wants to not blame somebody else, at least in your mind, for, for a mistake? So, then I decided I'm going to look up some signs of a narcissist because that definition just isn't enough for me. So, here's what I found for signs of a narcissist. So according to this one website that I found, there's 13 signs that you are a narcissist. I'm going to read them, then we're going to go through them. Preoccupied with self, unrealistic expectations, dehumanizing others, lack of empathy, obsession with appearances, pride, exaggeration, inability to accept criticism, envy, mood swings, broken or strained relationships, low self-esteem, and need for approval. So according to that website, whatever website I found, those are the 13 ways that you can determine if you're a narcissist. So I would like to go through them one by one, and then we're going to determine how much of a narcissist I actually am. Number one preoccupied with self. Okay. Yeah. I'm preoccupied with myself. I, uh, so I'm not off to a good start here. So, um, but yeah, I always want to be the best version of myself that I can and I want to look as best as I can. So yes, uh, so far I'm one for one. Number two, unrealistic expectations. Yep. I set unrealistic expectations for myself all the time. I feel like I should be a famous actor right now. I feel like this YouTube channel should have a lot more than it has right now, like a million subscribers. So yeah, I have a lot of unrealistic expectations for myself. Two out of two so far. Number three, dehumanization of others. Now this is where I'm going to have to say, no, I don't feel that I dehumanize others. So if anyone out there feels differently, maybe you can tell me, but I feel like I respect others and, uh, and I do not dehumanize others. So as of right now, I'm two out of three for how much of a narcissist I am. Number four is lack of empathy. And that's definitely not me. At least I don't feel that it is. Um, and anybody who knows me should probably know that I am pretty empathetic and I'm always, you know, pretty giving and I take other people's feelings into consideration and I care a lot about others. So I'm going to have to say no, that I am, uh, that's not a sign of mine as being a narcissist. So as of now, I am two yeses and two noes. So as of right now, I would say 50% narcissist. All right, obsession with appearances. Yep. So, not too much to say about that, but but who isn't obsessed with their appearance? Well, I guess some people aren't, but I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, but yes, I'm obsessed with my appearance. So, three yeses, two noes. All right, the next one is pride, which I'm not even sure what they mean by that. I mean, uh, does that mean that every person that is in the pride parade is a narcissist? I, I don't think so. Um, so, but I would say no. I keep my pride um, under in victory. So, you know, even when I 
accomplish something, I don't let my pride get the best of me. So I'm going to say no for that one. So right now, three out of six. The next thing is exaggeration. And that kind of reminds me of like, you know, the fishermen who say they caught this giant fish, but then, you know, it turns out to just be a little goldfish. Um, I'm going to say no. I don't think I exaggerate things. So like, um, you know, I do hear a lot of guys say, a lot of older guys, oh, back in my day, I was, I was twice your size, you know, so, you know, I'm 280 pounds. So that must mean that they were um, like 560 pounds. So that's an exaggeration. But I don't think that I really exaggerate because I don't really tell stories about how much weight I could lift or how much, uh, how good I was at bodybuilding. I never really say that kind of thing. So I'm going to say no for exaggeration. Moving right along, number eight is inability to accept criticism. For that one, I'm also going to say no, because I have to deal with a lot of criticism, especially in the field of acting, you know. Um, somebody wants you to do a scene a different way. You can't argue with them and say, no, my way is better. So I'm going to say that I can accept constructive criticism, as long as the person's not being a jerk about it and making you feel like an idiot. I can, I can take criticism. Number nine is envy. And I have to be honest, I am very envious of everyone who's more successful than me, especially with acting or, you know, you know, people with bigger muscles, not as much as I used to be, but yes. So envy for sure. So as of now, four out of nine things make me a narcissist. Number 10 is mood swings. And I don't think I have mood swings. I'm pretty mellow and calm all the time. I mean, yeah, I get I get pissed off every now and then and or I get upset, but usually when I have a reason to be. So, but I wouldn't really call myself having mood swings. So I'm going to give that one a no. So right now, four out of 10 things, I'm narcissist. So I'm only 40% narcissist as of now. Number 11, broken or strained relationships. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any. I mean, uh, I get along with my family, my relatives. Uh, I can't even think of anybody that I have a broken relationship with. Like even, um, I think I get along with pretty much most of my exes too. So yeah, I'm going to say a no for that one. No broken or strained relationships. Number 12, low self-esteem. And I hate to admit it, but yes, I kind of do have low self-esteem. I try to play it off a little bit, but if I'm being honest with myself, uh, sometimes I don't feel like I am enough, like I'm good enough, like, um, like I'm adequate. So got to give myself a yes for that one. So that's five yeses. And the last and final sign that you're a narcissist is need for approval. And I definitely need approval. I need approval from myself, from my peers, from, from everybody. I would love for everyone to approve of me, to think that I'm cool. So need for approval, that's a yes, a big yes. So that's six yeses for those keeping track. Six yeses out of 13 things. So not quite 50%, but need for approval is definitely a yes. So what did we learn today? Well, six out of 13, that means that I'm not a full blown narcissist. However, it does mean that there are some things that I probably should work on if, uh, cause I might have some narcissistic behaviors, but I would say that I'm not a narcissist as far as the woman's comments that bodybuilders are all narcissists. I would say that, you know, most bodybuilders I've encountered have been, you know, they're usually nice guys, but there are some, you know, there are a percentage of, of guys that go to the gym and guys who bodybuild that are more narcissist than what I am, what I would say. So, and I don't think it's even the majority of, um, 
you know, gym guys, but it's those ones, you know, those are the ones that always get attention as with everything, you know, the bad eggs are the ones that, that get all the attention and they make it bad for everybody else. So this has opened my eyes to some things that I need to work on with my life. And uh, hopefully you two out there have gotten uh, something out of this video, something educational, something interesting at least. So if you want to see more content like this, you know, let me know in the comments below. I got other stuff coming. I just wanted to do something fun today and try to give myself an, an analyzation of everything. But make sure you like the video, please. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You know, trying to grow this channel, trying to get it up there. But now, after this, I'm going to try to not be self-centered about it. I'm going to try to not be a narcissist because that's not a good thing. You know, being a narcissist is not a compliment to be called. So let's all work on it, all of us out there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.